My name is Tizio, I'm a mixing engineer, and this year I'm nominated for Best Engineered Album, Victoria Monet, Jaguar 2, and Victoria Monet on My Mama for Record of the Year. I think being Grammy nominated is a really special thing that everyone, when they're growing up watching the Grammys and when they start doing music, is sort of like this pinnacle. It's not something that you can get by just being a part of a song that sells the most amount of records or goes number one. It's something that has to be voted on by, you know, a group of peers on something that's special to the community. And it's not based necessarily on sales. So that's what makes it really special for me. You know, with this project, I don't think I faced any big challenges. And the reason being Victoria Monet is an incredible singer, an incredible writer. The producer deputy gave me the files exactly how I needed it. There wasn't any issues. Her management team with Rochelle is her name. Um, they made my life peach. Like they made my life very simple. The only challenge I would say is me getting the mix to be where I felt it was at the greatest place it could be. On this record specifically, I used my uh, DW Fern VT5 using the EQ bands on it for this record because I wanted to bring warmth to the record. It wasn't just another pop or hip hop record that I was working on. It was a, a true R&B record with all the qualities you would find in a uh, in an R&B record. I usually turn the tubes off when I'm doing like really heavy hip hop or something that's really loud. It's hard to get loudness through this piece of gear. Um, but for this one, because I wasn't going for loudness and I was going more for, you know, vibe and dynamics, I was able to actually use it to the full, to the full extent of the unit. Well, I'm really proud that Record of the Year is, is uh, one of the top, I would say is the top uh, award in the Grammys. I've been nominated for Album of the Year before, um, but Record of the Year is something like the pinnacle. Um, and on top of that, the cherry on top is that I'm also nominated for Best Engineered Album. It's very hard to decide which one I would actually choose between the two because on the one hand, you have Record of the Year, and that's the pinnacle of the Grammys. But on the other hand, as a mixing engineer, receiving an award for Best Engineered Album is something that's hard to, uh, to choose really between the two. So I feel like it's really special all the way around. When we did the record, I did not see it as something that I was, you know, this record is amazing. It was an amazing record, but I wasn't thinking this one's going to go to the Grammys. This one's going to sell X amount. And out of everything that I've worked on this year, this is the record that surprised me the most. And I feel like you'll be surprised by the stuff that you sort of put off to the side and think, you know, it's just a regular day. Those are the days that are the most special. And, and you, you won't know until time passes and you look back on it. And that's how it's been for most of my career is, Take those opportunities that you think are just uh, a regular day and, and and just know that one day they might be this, that special one and you, you will never know until you look back.